Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about Charlotte Tilbury's brand new Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. She's come out with this cream product in two different shades, Color of Passion, and Color of Dreams. I purchased both of them. So we'll be doing some swatches of these. I'll be applying them to my cheeks and my lips. I do have lipstick on, but I'll take that off. Um, we'll be applying them to my cheeks and my lips just so we can see both of them. And just kind of, you know, talking about them a little bit. I'll do some comparison swatches as well. I purchased these off of the Charlotte Tilbury website. They are $40 each and they were, I don't know, they were released maybe late last week. <laughs> I'm telling you, being quarantined, I have completely lost track of time, but I think these were released like sometime late last week. Anyway, they arrived in a fairly timely manner. It has been incredibly, incredibly hot here in Vegas. So let me go ahead and show you some close-ups of this and I'll explain to you why I'm talking about the temperature again. Uh, but the packaging of these are really, really beautiful. So they have the, you know, typical Charlotte Tilbury rose gold finish. It's housed in this really nice compact. It's not especially weighty, but it feels nice in the hand. And when you open up the compact, there's uh, a nice mirror on the inside. And let me go ahead and show you the lighter shade, which is called Color of Dreams. And here is a close up of it. And the reason why I talked about how hot it is here is you probably see some spots, <laughs> some spots on the pan. Basically, this product was kind of sweating when it arrived, and so that's basically like the sweat that just has kind of dried down. So it's not mold, it's not having to do anything with like the quality of this product, it's because the day that this was delivered, it was 116 degrees out. So it was very warm here. I was so, so worried that these were just gonna be completely liquefied, but they were just kind of like sweating at the top. So that's what the little spots are. So anyway, that is the Color of Dreams shade, and here it is swatched on my hand. So this is a first impression, because I just recently got these in the mail. And then the other shade is Color of Passion. So here is a close up of that pan. And again, you're, you're gonna see some spots. Again, that's just the sweating. And here it is swatched next to Color of Dreams. And it's the swatch to the right. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is these are both fairly sheer and I don't think that there's that much, at least swatched, there isn't that much of a difference in the shade. So Color of Dreams, the lighter one, is on the left and Color of Passion, the deeper one, is on the right. So these are made in Italy and they have an 18 month shelf life uh, from the time that they're open. And let me just check their website because I'm not sure if these are limited edition I don't think so. I don't think so, but let me just check. Let's see, new, Pillow Talk, Lip and Cheek Glow, Color of Dreams. It doesn't say it's limited edition. So I think this is a permanent part of the Charlotte Tilbury line, the latest addition to the Pillow Talk line, which as we know is really popular for Charlotte Tilbury. So let's go ahead and get these on my cheeks. So I'm gonna start with Color of Dreams, which again is the lighter one. And when I first swatched this, I find them to be fairly, um, emollient feeling. You can probably see like the shininess in the pan. They're pretty emollient feeling. So I am going to really kind of pay attention to see how they dry down on the cheek because the last thing I want is something really sticky on my cheek where my hair can stick to it. That really, really bugs me. So let's pat this on. And again, this is Color of Dreams. And I do have some of her um, Filmstar Bronze and Glow Down. I have the bronze down and some of the highlights. So I am patting this over some powder products. Okay, that, that blended out really, really nicely. Wow. It is a very light wash though. Let me see if I can build it up. Sometimes with cream cheek products, there isn't a lot of building up that can happen because it just gets like gooier and gooier, um, but we're gonna try. So I have a little bit more on my middle finger. I'm just gonna tap a little bit more on, kind of focus it on the apples of my cheeks here, and then bring it out. Yeah, I feel like I built that up a little bit. It looks really airbrushed on the cheeks. That's a really easy blend out. Okay, that is really, really pretty. And let me take a clean finger. Yeah, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel tacky at all. I feel a little bit of emollients right here. I think where I kind of focus that second layer, but back here where I have the product, it feels like it has set down already. Ooh, so that is nice. There's no like tackiness on the cheeks, which is great. Oh, how pretty. So that is Color of Dreams. Let's try Color of Passion. And again, this is the deeper one. It definitely looks deeper in the pan. 
my swatch, not so much. So let's see what it looks like on the cheek. I'm going to actually clean off my finger and apply this one. Okay, it definitely has a deeper pigmentation. Um, I feel like I have a similar level of depth and shade and it only took one layer here where it took like two over here. And this is definitely, it has like just, just a hint, like just the slightest hint of like a plum, like a little bit cooler than this side. So obviously these will work for fair, light, light medium skin tones. I'm trying to figure out if this one is even deep enough to say that it'll work nicely on a medium skin tone, I, th I think so. I think both of these actually work on a medium skin tone. I think anything deeper than that, I'm not sure that it's gonna show up. I think it's just a little bit too light, a little bit too light. But if any of you out there who have a deeper skin tone and have maybe tried these, will you let us know down below in the comment section whether or not these shades uh, worked for you or if one shade worked for you and one didn't, um, I would love to know. Sometimes it's just so hard to kind of like project and like figure out whether or not it's gonna work on a different skin tone. But on my light, light, medium skin tone, I think it looks really, really nice. I am very impressed with how nicely it blended out because it has such an emollient, like really beautiful kind of like feeling formula. I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more slick and like possibly patchy because of that, but it really goes on nicely. And again, I do have it over some powder products, so that may have also helped as well. All right, I put on the Pillow Talk Lip Liner and Pillow Talk Lipstick for the occasion, and I kind of forgot that these are lip and cheek products. So anyway, let me go ahead and take this off and we'll apply those to my lips. All right, first up, let's try the Color of Dreams. And I'm just using my finger. Of course, you can use a lip brush if you want. I'm just gonna use my finger. It's so funny, it feels really emollient on the lip, but when I put it on my cheek, it just, I don't know, it just felt like it set down really quickly. You guys, I am not generally like a fan of, well, no, let me rephrase. I generally like like lip and cheek products. I usually ha favor one over the other. Like, mm, I really like it as a cheek product or mm, I really like it as a lip product. I don't usually like them for both. So far, I really like this for both. I think it's like really nice on the cheeks. It's not tacky, but it stays really emollient on the lips. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so that is the color of dreams. And now let me take this off and we'll put the other one on the color of passion. So there is the color of passion, a little bit deeper in tone than the color of dreams. Barely perceptible because these are fairly sheer, as you could tell on my swatches there. Wow, so funny. When I first swatched them and they were so emollient, I was like, oh, I'm gonna like them for the lips and I'm not gonna like them for the cheeks. And then when I put them on my cheeks, I was like, oh, wow, okay, I'm gonna like these for the cheeks and not for the lips. And now that I have them on the lips, I really enjoy it for both. I'm, I'm really surprised, I have to say. Wow, okay, well, so far, first impressions, really really like them so let me go rummage around my collection and see if i can find some comparisons to do for you so this color of passion color actually reminded me of this ilia tinted lip conditioner in forever this is the shade and i swatched it right over the color of passion so this is color of passion and then this is the ilia so it's almost an identical match i just find that the ilia is actually uh, a little bit more pigmented it's like a little bit more solid looking, less sheer than the Charlotte Tilbury, but like pretty much the same color. Next up, I have this Kosas Hyaluronic Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Rush. This is what it looks like in the tube. Let me see if I can raise this up some more. Yeah, that's Rush. And I find the Rush shade in the Kosas Sport to be a little bit pinkier than either of these. These are both a little bit more neutral. This one is a little bit leaning towards a warm side. Yeah, I think you guys can see that the Rush has a little bit more pink in there. Next up, I wanted to try comparing it to this Tom Ford Bay d'Hiver shade. This is one of the lip balms. It's shade number 05. This came out with the um, Soleil Neige collection. And this is, uh, you know, obviously it's a much cooler 
purpley toned ones. So there is the Bay d'Hiver, and there is Color of Passion, Color of Dreams. So a little bit different. And then next up, I want you to compare the Chantecaille Verbena, and this is actually much brighter. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought, oh, maybe it was going to be close to this. It is actually much brighter, much more pinky purple than either of these. And then next to this Chantecaille in Calendula, this is, again, just it's just much brighter than either of these. And then next to Chantecaille's Beach Rose, this is much, much lighter, much more sheer. And again, just a much brighter color than either of these. These are both much more nude. And then last but not least, I have a couple of the Rouge Cocoa Flashes from Chanel. This one is in Live, and it is much cooler, a little bit more pink, and there's actually a lot more shimmer in the Live than there is in the Charlotte Tilbury's. The Charlotte Tilbury doesn't have any kind of like shimmer or sparkles or anything like that. They're just, you know, kind of just a straight up satin finish. And then next I thought I'd compare it to Boy, and Boy is <laughs> so much more nude. You almost can't even see it. It's so much more nude and warmer than either of these, a lot lighter as well. And here are the two products swatched next to some cream cheek products. So first we have the Charlotte Tilbury Color of Dreams. Then we have the Color of Passion. Next to that we have the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Petal. Next to that we have the Chanel Le Beige Blush Number no. 20. Next to that we have the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. And then finally we have the Chantecaille Cheek Gelée in Vibrant. Out of all of these swatches, I find the Westman Atelier Petal to be the closest to the Color of Dreams and the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm to be the closest to the color of passion. So from what I can tell, it is pretty unique in my collection. The closest one for sure is the Ilia uh, Forever Tinted Lip Conditioner. So I do know that some people don't like using their fingers for you know lip products, things like that. They much prefer a bullet. So if you're looking for a bullet product that's very, very close, I would give this Ilia one a shot. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave me any questions down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.